Hi guys, it's Matt from Max on UK here and in this video we're going to be looking at trying to create a realistic brick texture and then we'll um, apply it to a house so you can see how it turns out. Okay, brick textures in Cinema 4D are relatively simple to create thanks to the brick shader that we have in there. But making them look realistic is a little bit more fiddly, but it's still doable, obviously. And we are going to be looking through that process. It's largely about layering and it's about adding more and more detail without having to do necessarily too much more work to the brick texture that we have. So I'm just going to create myself a cube very quickly because that's what we're going to be using to map against our uh, brick texture. And I'm just going to double click in there to create ourselves a new material which I shall load up there. Okay, so let's go to our color channel and we'll go to textures and down there under surfaces is the brick. There we go, boom, we have a, a brick texture there. So I'm just going to untick reflectance because it's not going to be you know, shiny or reflective, okay, not for what we need it for. And I'm just going to drag and drop that on so you can see the texture that we have. And it's quite simple, it's, you know, being applied cubically and we have our brick texture here. Now our brick shader, you know, has its basic sort of stuff with its name and then its shader and you can change its scale so, you know, you can really increase it so that the bricks are much smaller or bigger depending on what you want. You can increase it so that the bricks are even longer than they would normally be in brick height so it's fully customizable depending on how you want it to work you can even adjust the shift you know how much uh, oops you can even adjust the shift so you can control you know how much they step up depending on what you want it to you know look like um, you can reset every row so that it always returns to where it creates you can create half bricks as well if you wanted so you know this is a really good little um, thing that we, we can have here we're going to focus largely on the colors and things to start with okay so that we can get stuff working now we've got um, some good color here and you can you know choose the alternate brick color as well so depending on you know whether or not you want different bricks so you want this banding for this instance I'm just going to turn it off so we have the continual brick sort of colors I'm gonna just open that up and I'm gonna go for something that's a bit darker on both okay I want something that's a little bit more sort of maybe a little bit ready as well so we've got a little bit more red bricks than we would normally have but we can also add in some texture here and then you know work our way between what we've got you can add in you know noises and it will overlay and you say we've got some white and black textures there and you could you know really whack up um, the noise and the scale of these sorts of things so let's go for something like that um, and it gives it an interesting texture and then maybe ooh, if I just open those up and I'll try and pick those sort of ready colors again oh. you can see there we go we get a nice sort of ripple of brick colors going on in there which is you know not too bad and that was just a quick addition into that layer I mean we could uh, layer it up as well so if you wanted to add in some more noise so if we just add in a layer and then go to our shader again and go to noise let's see how about something that's a little bit more stark so something that's do you maybe something that's a bit grainier and I'm going to largely pick my maybe a lightish color but then for this one Uh, and then you could decrease the scale so you're looking at something that's a bit grainier and then change that to um, no never mind change keep that as texture and then if you overlay we can get a little bit of a mix between the two okay and that will just allow you to pick out some highlights maybe I can change that a little bit more Let's have a look. 
Let's just minimize though and increase that contrast. There we go. So we're going to now get sort of like little spickles of yellow. Um, and I might increase that over so that some of those little highlights come through. And we can get just like little smatterings of color here, there, and everywhere. Cool. So that kind of gives us a nice basis for the bricks themselves. Then we can have a look at the gaps. And again, it's very similar. We're going to be looking at using noise and layering up noise to give us some interesting texture between it. So at the moment, that's kind of you know black and white, and it's, it's OK. But we want to be looking a little bit more gray. One of these days, I'm going to stop pressing that button, aren't I? Um, and we can be looking at a, a gray. No, still it's not today that day, is it? And I can just be focusing on some of the other grays. Then what we can do, again, like I said, is layer it up. So just create another layer, click in, add in another shader, add in a noise, and again, something that maybe is a bit uh, grittier. So let's try, see, I do like FBM. It is a nice sort of grainy material. And again here, hey, I learned not to click it. Um, let's just bring those colors a little bit more sort of cementy. And then maybe if we overlay. See, one of the things you've got to do is experiment a little bit and just see what you think works, you know, how you want this to look, whether or not you want it to be you know too dark or overlaid or, or a little bit lighter in in the um, grout mortar there it is mortar so that doesn't you know that's not too bad at all and then you've even got dirt which you can add as well so if you click that it'll add a sort of dirty texture over the top and it's quite nice to add in sometimes if you just want to give it a little bit of texture without going too much um, I have a tendency of lowering that quite a lot so it's not quite so um, obvious um, and that kind of gives us our nice texture for the bricks now we need to add this in to some displacement so the easiest thing I find is to copy this channel and then paste it into displacement because this has a lovely thing under the uh, shader here that says enable displacement mode and you do that and then we get our black and white and it grays out all of these and we focus largely on how we want this to look we're going to need to make sure that under our actual displacement tab um, sub polygon displacement is enabled and we're going to need to be aware of the height as well so depending on how big your cube is will depend on how much that wibbles in and out now the displacement we're largely going to use to get the shape of the bricks and the mortar so unless they're very badly put together or something's gone terribly wrong with the brick laying process you're not going to want a five centimeter shift probably only about a one centimeter shift so now if I render that quickly um, you can see we've got a little bit of wobble but not a great deal um, if I up that to 5, I mean if I added 5 onto there you might be able to see what this looks like there we go, it's very wibbly but that's far too much so I'm going to keep it a little bit more subtle at the moment at 2 perhaps so that we're just getting a little bit of, of wobble but again we might need to adjust it once we've got it in position in situ it's always good that you you know you have a rough idea of how you want your texture to look before you then apply it to model but there will always be tweaks and there'll be tweaks in environments as well so let's just have a look at this this isn't quite how, what I would imagine uh, I'm going to keep these scales and stuff the same at the moment because they match the color channel but you can increase or decrease the height variation which is quite nice so you can choose just how much they um, vary between the two and like the slope density as well so if you don't want a lot of slope in your bricks and you want something that's a little bit more subtle then something like this would work quite nicely and that just means that it's largely focusing on the bricks sticking out and the mortar going inwards 
and not being too in your face uh, when it comes to a, you know how much that's trying to distort everything else okay there we go and then we're going to look at the bump okay so we turn the bump on and what we can do now I'm gonna paste in a layer I'm actually I'm gonna paste in that shader as well so that we are looking at the similar sort of stuff um, and again I'm gonna add this onto displacement mode so that it goes into black and white and I'm just gonna lower these down you know quite a lot so largely we're just focusing on black and white because I want to just increase the amount of definition there is already in that bricks um, uh, the brick and mortar sort of gap but equally I'm going to add in a layer because there's not enough um, noise and grain in there for me so let's add in a layer and I'm going to go for a shader and guess what I'm going for a noise obviously that's a little bit too much um, and nowhere near what I want so let's have a look at something else something that's got lots of nice sort of levels and octaves in something like that would be quite cool and I'm going to look at maybe multiplying or maybe you know having an overlay but maybe not quite so much. okay um, and let's add in another one and let's try something with a lot of grain again so something like that so that we're getting a nice amounts of grain and let's just do a quick render and see how we're looking okay yeah that gives us a nice texture so if I get rid of the bump you can see that we've got you know distortions created by the displacement but that bump gives us a nice sort of gritty texture across all of it okay so for me that's largely it when it comes to the creation of the brick itself so let's um, throw in a house and let's see what it looks like on there so there we go house 16 so let's just have a, a nose at that then that's not too bad that's quite a nice little house so I'm just going to turn that cube off and I'm going to select the polygons of this house because uh, we should just apply it to the polygons that we would expect it to be applied to which would be the bricks really wouldn't it let's face it I'm not going to apply all of them I'm just going to uh, give you a rough idea actually I'm going to leave those ones off uh, and then I shall drag and drop this okay hasn't applied in the nicest possible way so let's change it from spherical mapping to cubic and that gives it ooh, that gives us a nice sort of look of the bricks there uh, even actually quite a nice height the number of bricks to that would sort of make that up um, let's just illuminate our scene a bit with a nice physical sky and then as always you know me ambient occlusion and global illumination and let's have a render and see how that looks okay so it looks like the displacement is a little bit much remember when I said that you sometimes have to reconfigure just how much displacement that has so that's it you know sort of two centimeters maybe just 0 0.5 for the moment and let's just adjust our angle and work our way in a bit oh I've got some polygons I don't need I'm not too fussed but let's get rid of the window frame and reset the selection and render again well there we go got quite a nice sort of looking brick brickwork there haven't we I'm quite pleased with that and you can adjust your um, scales a little bit you know with the UV over here you know just to stretch that out a little bit so oh no not that one so maybe just increase that just so that you haven't got that edge and it looks a little bit more realistic but that's all easily tweakable but you can see the difference that it makes between you know just one and the other side that isn't you know textured well i hope that was a useful tutorial for you in creating a brick texture and i will catch you next time